Do you know ISRO had recently announced seven scientific missions in the next decade, including the ambitious Gaganyaan, its first manned mission to space. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss what are the future missions of ISRO. But before we start the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe before leaving. Also, hit that bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we will upload a new video. For now, let's get to the video right away. As I said at the beginning of the video, ISRO had recently announced six scientific missions in the next decade including the ambitious Gaganyaan, its first manned mission to space. The next decade will commence with the launch of Aditya L1 to the Sun in 2021, Mars Orbiter Mission 2 in 2022, among others. Aditya L1 Mission The mission to the moon is ISRO's most daring endeavor as it tries to understand and predict climate change on Earth. The payloads will study the solar corona. The spacecraft, which is likely to be launched by mid-2020, will be placed in halo orbit about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. ISRO has already defined the mission. According to ISRO, the project is approved and the satellite will be launched by PSLV XL from Sri Harikota. Aditya 1 was meant to observe only the solar corona, the outer layers of the sun extending to thousands of kilometers above the disk, is termed the Corona. Gaganyaan Said to be undertaken by 2022, the project aims at sending a three-member crew to space for at least seven days. While the first human spaceflight demonstration is targeted to be completed within 40 months from the date of sanction, two unmanned flights will be carried out before that. The project was first announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his Independence Day speech this year. The total fund requirement for the Gaganyaan program is within 10,000 crores and includes the cost of technology development, flight hardware realization and essential infrastructure elements. Shukrayan After successfully completing the Mars mission, ISRO is looking forward to its second planetary mission Shukrayan. The mission will be focused on studying the surface and subsurface of the planet. It is to be noted that Venus is known as the twin sister of Earth and could offer several answers to its similarity with Earth's mass, size, composition and gravity. The mission will be launched in 2023. RLV-TD Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator Project is the first step towards realizing a two-stage to orbit reusable launch vehicle. It will act as a flying bed to evaluate technologies like autonomous landing using air breathing propulsion, powered cruise flight and hypersonic flight. The rocket has a nose cap, fuselage, double delta wings, twin vertical tails and symmetric active control surfaces called elevons and rudder. Using these kinds of technologies would reduce the launch cost by a factor of 10. However, the selection of materials like special alloys, composites and the crafting of its parts is quite a complex process and requires highly skilled manpower. Avatar Aerobic vehicle for trans-atmospheric hypersonic aerospace transportation is a conceptual single-stage reusable spacecraft capable of horizontal takeoff and landing. It is primarily developed for low-cost commercial and military satellite space launchers as well as for space tourism. It is projected to weigh 25 tons of which 60% of that mass would be liquid hydrogen fuel. The first scaled-down tests were performed a year ago and the first manned Avatar spaceflight is planned for 2025. The rocket design has already been patented in India and applications for registration of the design have been filed in patent offices in China, Germany, Russia and the US. And the last one is NISAR. NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar is perhaps the biggest collaboration between ISRO and NASA to develop and launch a dual frequency synthetic aperture radar satellite. It will be the world's first satellite to use dual frequency. The aim of the mission is to analyze ice sheet collapse, ecosystem disturbances and natural hazards like volcanoes, landslides, earthquakes and tsunamis. Over $1 billion has been allocated for this project. 
ISRO will provide a launcher, S-band synthetic aperture radar payload, spacecraft bus and associated services, whereas NASA will provide the project's L-band SAR, a payload data subsystem, a solid state recorder and a GPS receiver. That's it for today guys, we will see you guys in our next video, till then follow us to get informational videos like this in the future. Until then, goodbye.